so does 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 this mean that he's in the women's division or uh, what 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 what's going on guys this is your boy big hero chris here back at you again with another video we got your friday night smackdown review um you already know the vibes, you already know how this goes. Leave me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Ring that notification bell. I got the Elimination Chamber predictions video coming up. You got the review coming up. So you gotta make sure you ring that notification bell so you'll know when you get new videos coming from your boy. That's what it is. That's what time it is. What time it is? It's SmackDown time. Let's go. Okay, so the show kicks off with Edge. Edge makes his way to the ring. Um, He's in the ring talking about how he still hasn't made a decision yet. Um, he's going to wait till after the Elimination Chamber. Um, he wants to see how it goes on the Raw side and on the SmackDown side. Of course, you have on the Raw side, Drew defending his, cham his, um, his championship inside the chamber. And on the SmackDown side, you have um, the six guys fighting inside the chamber. And then after that match, he, the winner of that match faces Roman for the Universal Championship. And um, the Edge still hasn't made a decision. I mean, by the end of the show, you kind of have a feeling of who is going to be, but he still hasn't outright said, "Okay, I'm picking Roman to be the ch Roman for them um, to face at WrestleMania. I'm picking Drew to face at WrestleMania. I'm f picking Finn to pay face at WrestleMania." He hasn't outright made a decision yet, but you can kind of tell which way it's going. Speaking of which way he's going, Roman Reigns comes out and he just says, listen, I I'm the guy, J just pick me. But Edge is like, nah, you're, you're insecure and I'm starting to see those cracks show. I'm starting to see you lose your cool more. I'm living rent free inside your head. I'm make I'm working, I'm playing you like a fiddle, man. And um, basically saying that, listen, no matter what, I'm going to WrestleMania, I'm gonna be in the main event. And for you, you're insecure because you need me for you to be the main event of WrestleMania. And then as they're talking, Sami Zayn comes out with his um, conspiracy crew. He's talking about how, listen, I'm disrespected. I'm being disrespected by management. I'm being disrespected by two of the top guys in this company. You guys need to see me as a threat. I'm going to win the Elimination Chamber. He just went running off at the mouth. Jay hits him with a super kick, <laughs> knocks him clean out. Um, and then the whole time Roman has his eyes locked on Edge, Edge has his eyes locked on Roman, like they're focused on each other, they're not even really paying attention to what Sami Zayn is saying, and then Jay hits him with a super kick, and then you see Roman hand Paul the championship, he drops a microphone and he whispers something in Edge's ear, we don't hear what it is, we don't know exactly what is said, what Roman said, but I don't know, maybe um, my shoe game is better than yours, my hair is better than yours, I have a better man bun than you do. We don't know what he said. You have Edge interacting with um, uh, well, um, five out of the six guys in the um, Elimination Chamber. He walks up to um, Kevin Owens, he's talking to King Corbin, he's uh, talking to Daniel Bryan, he's talking to Cesaro, um, he's talking to all these guys, and they're all saying, oh man, maybe I get to face your WrestleMania. Oh, maybe when I when I get to face your WrestleMania. Oh, when I when I get to face your WrestleMania. So that was kind of the um, ongoing thing throughout the night. Okay, so thank thank God, thank thank you God for Biggie because this dude is just pure entertainment. I mean, he Biggie was out for commentary for the match between Apollo Crews and Shinsuke Nakamura, and my dude came out with the full couch. He had his feet soaked. He had, um, what else? He had his food set up. My dude is just the whole entire vibe, man. I just want to give Biggie a hug and just listen to all his problems. And I don't know. But he's out there for a commentary for the match between Apollo and Shinsuke. And throughout the match on commentary, Cole and um, Corey Graves, they're constantly asking um, Biggie about Apollo Crews. And Biggie's like, listen. I've already beat this dude three times with the Intercontinental title. I'm not giving him any more opportunities. Like, I keep beating him. Why do y'all keep bringing him up when you got Shinsuke Nakamura in the ring? Like, he, the dude's a living legend. He's gonna, we're gonna, um, 
And Shinsuke is one of those dudes that we're not really going to fully appreciate him until he's no longer wrestling. And he's absolutely right about that because Shinsuke is just phenomenal. He's a talented dude. Ta he's a very talented dude. Um, they just keep asking Apollo about... Or they, had, uh, they keep asking Big E about Apollo. And you can just feel that Big E's just getting fed up with that. Um, during the match, Apollo and um, Big E roll to the outside. And Apollo throws Shinsuke into Big E. And then they get and see Big E and Apollo getting in each other's faces. And they start talking back and forth. Um, and um, like I said before, I'm really digging this new aggression in Apollo. And after the match, um, Shinsuke won. But after the match, Apollo just goes. He, he's he's all, all the way a bad guy now. He's full heel. He attacks Shinsuke. He attacks Big E. Um... Knocks, big, knocks Shinsuke over the um, barricade. Um, no, no, no. He um, he was about to hit Shinsuke with the um, steel steps, and um, Big E gets in his face. I'm like, nah, man, don't do this, man. You need to leave. Like he's said it with his full entire chest, and Big E's got a big chest. So he said it with his chest. Walk, just walk away. Just walk. And he just told him walk. So Big e, Apollo seemingly walks away. But Big E goes to check on Shinsuke, and um. Apollo attacks Shin. Uh, um, damn, I'm getting torn times by like a move. He um attacks Big E with the steel steps, knocks Shinsuke over the um, barricade, and he rolls um Big E back into the ring. And he, I'm just digging this right now. Like you, they've really made Apollo extremely interesting right now with his heel turn. He's a bad guy now. He's just. Saying, listen, this isn't over until I say it's over, and I'm not gonna stop until I get that Intercontinental Championship. And then Big E goes outside the ring, like he rolls back outside to the outside the ring. Apollo had threw the steel steps inside the ring, and he holds them, uh, holds them steel steps over his head, and it, and they, they made it look like he dropped the steps on Big E on the outside, and they're making it seem like, oh my God, he killed him, good God Almighty, he's broken in half. You know how that goes on. <clears throat> and I'm just really digging this right now. For the longest time, people have been saying that they want to see more from Apollo Crews. They, want, they also don't want to see him just be the smiling baby face. Well, it's safe to say that we're not seeing the smiling baby face anymore. We're seeing a more serious Apollo Crews. He's got an edge to him. And dude's looking like a pure badass right now. And it's going to be interesting to see whenever him and Big E lock horns again because you know that's coming even though Big E's like no so I don't want to deal with this dude I'm I want to move on you know that that's where this is going it's going to be another match and it's going to be inter interesting to see if Big E loses and Apollo Crews becomes a new Intercontinental Champion it's going to see it's going to be interesting to see what that means going forward so after all that happens um they're putting Big E on the stretcher. They're getting him on the stretcher so they can take him to a local medical facility. And um, while this is happening, Seth Rollins makes his interest. He, um, he comes out. And during his interest, it has the whole burn it down. And as this is happening, um, EMS is making their way up the ramp. And normally during the burn it down part, you have the pyro. And I'm thinking, oh, are they going to have the pyro go off while <laughs> while they're willing Big E to, to the... Um, to the back that didn't happen i'm like oh come on man but um what we do have is seth rollins and his suit what 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 is this what in the crispy cream hell is going on with him in his suit i don't know what him and kenny omega what they have going on what if if having this much money means you have to dress like that, I'd rather be broke. I'm lying. I would rather have a lot of money, but I just don't want to dress like them too. Um, Seth Rollins is out here. He's talking about how he's disappointed how, and, um, and Cesaro about how he's turned his back on him and how he's talking about, oh, Biggie, I feel your pain. You've had people turn their back on you the same way these people have turned their back on me. I'm trying to pour my heart out how I've changed and he he's clearly hasn't changed he's just become even more delusional pretty much making sets out there pretty much making his intentions know that he wants revenge on Cesaro for seemingly turning his back on him 
and, and the whole time I'm just looking at his suit like, what the hell is this? What 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 are you doing? What what is this suit? What what is this? What is life? Um, Tamina and Natalia beat the Riot Squad. And, um, Billy K interfered. That's it. Mm, okay, so don't get me wrong. I like Billy K. She's the most entertaining part of all of this. But where is this gonna go? What what is the end game? What what uh, what, what does this mean, man? Like, why do we have to go through this week after week after week? The Riot Squad have a match. Billy K interferes. Um, she's playing both. I don't know, man. Like, what what's the whole point? I don't care. I like Billy K, but everything else, I don't care. I just don't care. I don't. Now we go from something I don't care about to something that I was kind of, kind of sort of entertained by, but still kind of confused about. Um, we have Ding Dong Hello, starring Bailey, featuring the um, women's tag team champions um, Nia Jax and Shayna, Shayna Baszler. Uh, they're talking. Reginald comes out, and I have no idea. Uh, what what the point of Reginald is? I mean, I'm intrigued by Reginald. Um, he seems to be more on the Sasha Banks bandwagon than he is on the Carmella caravan. Um, like he's out there advocating more and more for Sasha Banks, saying that uh, Sasha Banks is the best. We love Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks is number one. Um, you guys couldn't beat Sasha and her sidekick um, Bianca Belair. Um, Sasha comes out and says, "Listen, you don't want to talk for me. I'm, I'm the, I'm the boss. You don't, you don't speak for me. I, I do the talking." And then, of course, you have Bianca come out and saying, "Listen, he's getting, she's getting up in um Reginald's face, like, listen, I'm nobody's sidekick. I'm the women's Royal Rumble winner. So that means I am the women's division. I'm the best. I'm the EST and all that." So then you have Sasha and um, Bianca getting in each other's face, like, "Oh, whoa." whoa. And then it looks like um, Bianca is going to say, all right, like she's going to actually pick Sasha as who she wants to face at WrestleMania. But then Reginald screws it up. And then. And then it is now a six person tag team match between Bailey, Shayna Baszler, Nia Jax going against Sasha Banks. Bianca Belair and Reginald and this match ended with Reginald beating Nia Jax what I guess this leads to a match at the Elimination Chamber between Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair going against the women's champions, the women's tag team champions. And aren't there number one contenders on Raw? Like, don't don't they have the number one contenders? Are Naomi and Lana the number one contenders? How is it that Sasha and Bianca are now facing the women's tag team champions? Because a dude beat one half of the women's tag team champions. And then you still have the winners of the Dusty Cup. They're st still in the mix. And then they're going to be f fight. <sighs> Next, we have a um, random tag team match between Ray and Dominic Mysterio going against the Alpha Academy with Rude and Ziggler on commentary. And I think Otis turned heel. I think I was extremely confused by this. I have no idea what happened. I think he's a bad guy now. I don't know. It, it, the, I guess he is. Um, this was totally random. All this whole thing was just random. Um, where are the street profits? Where, where are the Street Profits? Why are you turning the Alpha Academy heel? They're enter entertaining as faces and now you want to turn them heel. Um, 
on the plus side, we didn't get to see Dominic face Baron Corbin, so... Win? Alright, so now it's time for the main event, which is a six-man tag between Kevin Owens, Cesaro, and Danny Bryan going against Jey Uso, King Corbin, and Sami Zayn. And before the match, you have Daniel Bryan and Cesaro in the back warming up. Kevin Owens walks up and he's like, he's, he's like um, hey, you guys want to talk some strategy about the match? And Daniel Bryan and Cesaro bring up the fact that Kevin Owens isn't really a good friend about how we stunned everybody last week. They bring up the fact that um, he uh, turned his back on Kofi. They bring up the fact that he turned his back on Sami Zayn 2,365 times. Um, and of course, they don't, they don't mention Jericho by name, but they do bring up him, um, Kevin turning his back on Chris Jericho at the festival of friendship, which I'm still I'm still sad about that. I'm still sad about the festival festival of friendship. Um, anyway, you have the match. Um, Edge comes out. Before, Edge comes out. Um, he's on. He's a guest on commentary. Um, Paul Heyman shows up out of nowhere. I don't even know where he came from, but now he's a guest on commentary. Though. Um, Talking about the match, they're talking about the Elimination Chamber. Um, Danny Bryan wins for his team. The good guys go over. Um, he beats, I think it was Sami Zayn. He um, hit Sami Zayn with a suplex off the top rope, which transitioned into the late, into the um, yes lock. And um, Sami Zayn taps out. Um, after the match, everyone just hits their finishers. You have uppercuts and super kicks and. Um, uh, stunners and um, I think Jay hit a super kick on Cesaro and then Edge slid in the ring. He hit Jay with a um, spear and then Roman comes out of nowhere. He hits um, Roman came out of nowhere and he hit Edge with a spear. And that's how the show ends. Um, you have it, Roman standing tall over Edge. Um, a good way to set up for the pay per view this Sunday. You. Um, it's kind of setting up that, yo, you don't know who's going to win, but you, you already know whoever wins the Elimination Chamber on the SmackDown side is going to go out against Roman, and Roman most likely is going to win. And I'll talk about that more in my predictions video. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell to make sure you get notified when I do post that video where I go into more detail talking about my thoughts of my predictions about the Elimination Chamber. Um, Yeah, man, that's it. That's it. I mean, overall, overall, SmackDown still is a better show than Raw. This was kind of a weak, I don't want to say weak. It wasn't weak. It was entertaining. It just had a couple of moments that I didn't really care about, which, um, yeah, I don't, I, I didn't care about or it was just confusing to me. I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe in time it will make more sense once you see the stories play out. But as of right now, the things I don't care about, I don't care about. The things that have me intrigued, I'm, I'm all in, I'm, I'm locked in. I'm ready to see what happens going forward. But what do you guys think? What did you guys think about the show? Let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, man. Uh, freaking Reginald beat Nia Jax. I still ain't this about a 